how to enter take profit and stop loss orders on Bybit, including trailing stop orders. I'll show you how to do everything in this video, including putting these in when you're trading, after you're trading and editing these orders as well. I'll put timestamps for everything down below. Let's get right into using a take profit and a stop loss order on the Bybit system then. A stop loss order uses a special type of order known as a conditional or trigger order. And that's because you give it a trigger price to actually trade at. This is different than a limit order. Uh, so we'll go through that now. So firstly, when you are trading, if you wanna enter your order and your trade, you can press this and then you can enter both the take profit and the stop loss at the same time, or you can just use conditional right here to enter it at any other time. So what exactly is a conditional order or trigger order as it's known? This is a specific instruction to only trade when a specific trigger price is met. And this is needed for a stop loss. So as an example, let's say that we've actually taken a long position here and we are long Bitcoin at 28,700. Now we want to take a loss if the price of Bitcoin gets down to 22,000. Right, so we'd, we'd actually be in a loss there, but we sell out of our order to prevent any further losses to the downside. Now, the reason you can't use a limit order here is because if you use the limit order, that's an instruction to immediately sell uh, at or above a current price. So if a limit order was put in at 22,000, the system would sell you out immediately because 22,000 is your limit and the current price is 28,000. So that's not what we wanna do. What we wanna do is tell the system only if the price gets down here, then sell me out of my position at a loss. And so that's why you need a trigger order with a specific trigger price. You can't use a limit order. Now to the upside, if you're, if you're using a take profit, this is just a normal, very simple limit order. When you're telling the system, I'm long at 28,700. If the price gets up to 33,600 or something like that, you can just sell my Bitcoin. That's a normal limit order. You can put these in when you're opening your trade or you can put them in after your trade. It's up to you. I've literally just opened a long position here just to show you, um, but it's exactly the same. You can either put it in when you're trading like this or what we can do down here is we can see TPSL. So we're going to click add and then the same box comes up. So very simply, the take profit order if you're long is a price above your current price. Uh, so we'll just do you know, a profit of 20%. Uh, and so it works out what the price is, but you can also just put a nominal price in here or something, right? So up to you. Um, so we'll just put a, you know, 30% profit in. And then for the stop loss, you might want to put that at a specific price um, based on your technical analysis or just minus an amount. So maybe 20% or something like that. Um, and that is a minus 20%. And then you can press confirm. Now these are two orders and these are trading out your entire position, as you can see here. So if you're long, you know, $1,000, they obviously are a sell order above and below for the total amount of your order. You can have partial positions as well, which is actually new, where you can trade out a partial position of what you've traded. So if you've got a $1,000 position open, you can close out 50% of that, 10% of that, um, whatever you want. So we're gonna do uh, entire position. It's kept these right here. So we're just going to press confirm. And that actually enters two orders into the system, which are the take profit and stop loss, which you can see here. The take profit above the price, the stop loss below the price. What we can also do is actually click on these and move them around and drag them wherever we want. So if you don't want to do it uh, on this system right here, you can drag them around and under my head, you can't see it, but it says that the orders are changed successfully. So now you have the stop loss price as a, at a specific price and the take profit. And these are on the system, as you can see at these prices on the right hand side, and your entry is right here. So that is how to enter a take profit and a stop loss on Bybit. You can also enter trailing stop orders on Bybit. These give you an opportunity to close out your trade in a very specific way. So the first thing we're gonna do is cancel out of our take profit and stop loss orders and just make sure that these are not in the system anymore. And then we can put our trailing stop order in. Down here, you can see trailing stop. I'm gonna add this. And what this is going to do is set a close order for us at a specific distance from the current price. So as an example, trailing stop orders will follow the current price to your advantage 
via a specific spread. So with a long position, you are obviously going to want to follow the price up because that's where you're in profit. But if the price starts falling down, the trailing stop does not move down. So if the price moves up 10% and your trailing stop is $500 away, it will always be $500 away from that price. So if the price moves up 10%, 20%, 30%, the, the trailing stop is always going to move up and be $500 away from the current price. So that is trailing the price upwards in your favor if you're in a long position. But as soon as the price moves against you, um, the trailing stop does not move. And then if triggered, sells out and closes your order. So this could potentially be like a take profit order if you're in profit. It could also be a stop loss order if the position moves against you. The retracement amount, you can enter any amount that you want. Let's put $2,000 away from the price. So you can do that. Uh, you can also change by rate. So you can click that and it's a percentage away. So maybe you want it five away from the current price, 5%. That's up to you. I'm going to choose by distance. Press confirm. Let's say $1,000. You can also press this, which is activation price as well. This is where the trailing stop is only triggered once the actual price moves to the price that you want. You can see when the last traded price reaches, let's say 30,000, the trailing stop order will be activated. When the last traded price reaches 1,000 USDT from the best price, it will trigger a stop market order to close the position. Why 1000? Because that's exactly what I've chosen right here. So you can enter this any way that you want. I'm going to click that off so we can actually enter this system. So as we can see, when the price is last traded, we're going to enter a stop, a trailing stop order at $1,000 away. Going to press confirm. And my trading stop order is in right now. If the price keeps moving upwards, this trading stop order will move upwards in price, following it into a profit for me. And as soon as the price starts moving down, this will not move down. And if the price then meets this, I will close out my order. And that could potentially be at a profit or a loss. It depends on how the price moves during that period. You can also use conditional orders completely separately to open trades for you. So you don't need to use them with an existing order. As an example here, let's say the price of Bitcoin right now is 28,700. We don't want to trade until the price is 29,000 because that's when we think there's going to be a breakout if it reaches that price. So we only buy above the current price. You can't use a limit order in this instance, but if we do get a breakout, you can trade that breakout to the upside. So conditional order, trigger price 29,000. And then the order price right here, you can either choose limit or market order. So remember the conditional order only inputs when the price trigger is met. And then at that time, we can either put in a limit or a market order. So the limit order could be 29,000, which is the same as the trigger, but it could also be 30,000 or it could be 20,000. That tr that limit order just gets put in when the trigger is met. So if you put in a long order, a buy order at uh, 29,000 trigger price and your limit is 20,000, you're not actually going to trade because the price is 29,000 and the limit, the most you're going to pay is 20,000. So the, the system cannot trade for you, but it's just an instruction to the system to do exactly what you want it to do. So you can, can put that limit order in or just press market order. And then basically you'll trade at around 29,000, depending on you know what the market price is actually for your trade. So conditional orders can be input uh, before any other trade is input, either above or below the current price or pretty much anything that you want. Once the trigger price is met, it will enter the exact order as you tell it right here. If you're trading in the spot market, you can use conditional orders as well. The main thing to be aware of here is that because the spot market is cash settled, you can't create orders for more crypto than you actually own. As an example here, we're in the spot market. So we have some BTC that we want to sell and tie up into a sell order in a stop loss. We're going to click sell. We're going to click TPSL right here. If you click TPSL or conditional, it actually comes up with the same screen. I believe these are exactly the same order type. Uh, so you can see the available balance is 0.002 BTC that we have. We're going to sell this for a stop loss order, 20,000 trigger price with a market order on that trigger price. So we're going to tie up the amount that we have into this sell BTC order, the trigger price of 20,000. And you can see the prices below. So we're not going to trade. The order status is untriggered. 
but we have a trigger to sell at 20,000. Now, if I want to take a, uh, if I want to put a take profit in here as well, so I want to sell and the trigger price is, you know, 35,000 uh, and the order price would be market. And then we obviously don't have any Bitcoin in our account anymore. As you can see, the available balance is zero. Why is that? Because this order is a spot order. It's a cash settled order. And so you need to tie up your crypto in that order. And so you can't put a take profit in here because you just simply don't have any Bitcoin to sell because it's tied up in this order. In derivatives, you can do that because it's not cash settled uh, and the system knows that. But with the spot market, you have to tie up that crypto to in order to be able to settle the order if it triggers. And so you can't really do take profit and stop loss, but you can do stop losses or conditional orders to buy above or below the current price or anything that you want. If you want more information on where to actually place your stop loss and take profit orders based on technical analysis and different price levels, I'll link some free videos down in the description. My crypto investor course has 300 plus videos on professional trading techniques as well. And so I'll link that down in the description for you too. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.